Hi guys, who is the best chess player of all time? Some people say it is Paul Morphy. It was a very strong player, maybe the strongest player of the world, before the first world champion Steinitz. And I think we could say Paul Morphy is the world champion number zero. Today I want to show you a very interesting game. It is impressive because of five reasons. It was played around 1850. This is 170 years ago. It was a French defense, which is very unusual because Morphy and his colleagues played in this time almost only open games after e4, e5. Like the King's Gambit or Italian game or maybe a Philidor defense or even Gambit and such openings. But this is, this was a French defense. And it was also a very short game and Morphy crushed his opponent by a very strong sacrifice. And Morphy played this game like a modern master. This was especially impressive. So let's look at the game. We Flip the board. Morphy had the black pieces. And we have the French defense. This is the position of the French defense. And what's also impressive, Morphy was only 12 years old in this game. Okay, White played the advanced variation and Morphy answered like a modern master with c5 and White played c3, protected his central pawn. Now Morphy developed Paul Morphy was very good in developing pieces while his opponents made a lot of mistakes or didn't develop their pieces, moved a lot of pawns and other not so strong moves. Let's look after knight c6. This is already a not so strong move. Another pawn move, f4, queen b6, knight f3, finally white develops a piece, and bishop d7. These moves could be played by a modern master. a3, another pawn move. Now Morphy wants to bring his knight to this square, f5. He can do this by knight e7 or knight h6. If he plays knight e7, then white could take here and this bishop cannot take back on c5. The queen must take back and Morphy didn't want to take with the queen. So he moved his knight to h6 and the target square is f5. And from there he threatens the pawn 
on d4. Another pawn move by white. I think he played this because he wanted to get rid of this weakness here on b2. If we go back a move, then we see white has problems with the development. He can't play the bishop, the bishop, he can't move the knight, and he cannot move the bishop to d3. Because if he plays bishop d3, then this pawn will be lost. If he moves knight bd2, then again this pawn will be lost. And if he moves this bishop, let's say to e3, then he has problems with the b2 pawn. That's why I think he played the following moves, a3 and b4. And Morphy took in the center and developed like a champ, rook c8. Now he has one, two, three, four, five pieces developed, white only one. This is not a good sign. Bishop b2, he protects his central pawn and one move before black could have moved the knight to f5. And then the only way to protect this pawn would be bishop b2. But then we have a fork. And when the good bishop of white, this would be a positional success. But Morphy wanted more than this. After bishop b2, he played knight to f5. More pressure in the center. And now uh, the square e3 is a problem. This was weakened by the move f4. This square is weak. That's why white player, which was McConnell, moved his queen to d3. I think he also wanted to develop his knight behind the queen, finally. But he wanted to protect the square e3. Now it's time for tactics. What do you think did Morphy now? He is very good developed and he had a very good move. If you want, you can pause the video and try to find the solution. Let's go. Correct. He sacrificed the bishop with check because if he takes, which he did, the knight comes with tempo, garde, the queen is attacked, and also this is a very good open file for the hook. All pieces work together as you can see. 
Now the queen must move. If she moves, for instance, here, we have a family fork. Uh, the queen has not so good squares available. In the game, he moved his queen back. Now Morphy could make a fork here with check, but he wanted more. He made another double attack with his rook, which is also very strong, maybe even stronger. The queen has only one square. This is d1. And instead of taking the bishop, what strong move do you see here? There was a very strong move for Morphy. And after this move, this move by Morphy, his opponent resigned. Can you see this move? If you want, you can pause the video again. And after this, I show you the solution. Good luck. Correct. Knight e3. Now the queen is trapped. The queen is checkmated. This piece has no square. And in the next move, the queen is lost. And that's why McConnell, the white player, resigned. And Morphy, the 12-year-old black player, won this game in very good style. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I see you in the next one.